10th of May 2021 across the Western Pacific and we do have uh, some areas we're keeping an eye on. Actually, there's an invest area 96W located towards the south and east of Guam. This is uh, way out here, but still uh, definitely does show the potential of possibly some development as we look ahead into the latter part of this upcoming week. Meanwhile, the rainy season front stretching from uh, southwestern Japan all the way through southern China and boy, high pressure remaining in place, especially across Luzon where temperatures have been on the high side. I mean, look at this. Patangas, 44 degrees. The max heat index temperature here on your Saturday. Look out here into Pangan Sinan, 51 degrees was reported. Boy, oh boy, uh, I feel for you guys. I know it's been hot, especially across Luzon. Uh, we are not quite into the southwest monsoon season just yet, which typically cools things down across the Philippines and even over through the Indochina Peninsula. But the temperatures have naturally been heating up as we go ahead into the month of May. So it's been hot out there. Now we might have a little bit of increased cloud cover. I know already been seeing plenty of cloud cover through Mindanao in the southern half of Asais, but even in the Luzon, it could be uh, looking more that way as we go ahead in the latter part of this upcoming week. This is the uh, a couple models shown here, CMC, the UK, and the GFS all kind of picking up on something developing there south of Guam. Uh, by the time we head into over towards the 13th, over towards the 14th and 15th. At the very least, we're going to have definitely increase in scattered showers, all thanks to the ITCZ really spinning up out here, but still remaining hot, at least for the time being, out across Luzon. But plenty of rainfall, even some localized flooding has been reported, and that is only going to be on the increase as we go through the latter part of the upcoming week. I mean, you can see those afternoon showers really picking up for the first half of the week. But there it is. That's the GFS. This is as we go ahead through the 14th, the 15th, kind of shows that system developing back here towards the west, pulling across Visayas through southeastern Luzon. Here's the big caveat with a model like this, though. Uh, I'm showing you pretty uh, extended outlook here. So when we're talking about an extended forecast that far out, uh, definitely a lot of... Um, possibilities for change. I mean, the GFS shows this, the ECMWF, the European guidance, uh, doesn't really show much at all, actually, at this point. So, you know, we still got a lot of question marks, but that track would be kind of in line, what we would see this time of year, with uh, May storms as they pull towards the west and kind of moving across southern Visayas, or northern Visayas through southern Luzon. By the way, May, we do get storms in uh, the Philippine area, at least. Uh, since 1948, 69 tropical systems have entered the Philippine area responsibility with 32 landfalls in the month of May. So if you maybe you're from uh, the Atlantic Basin and you're thinking, it's May, whatever, you know, we're probably not going to get a storm. They, they do happen a lot more often than you think out here. So, you know, Invest 96W, at least at this time, definitely worth watching. It remains hot in the tropics, not only the Philippines, but across the Indochina Peninsula as well. And the rainy season front remains in place south of Japan. And what do I mean by that? I mean, uh, look over towards uh, Okinawa through Taiwan, northern Taiwan, including Taipei and southeastern China. This front has just been uh, dominating. This is what we're talking about with the rainy season front, too. This is a forecast for Naha. All right, so we're talking about uh, the southern Japanese islands here. Look at Monday rain, showers, thunderstorms. Tuesday, rain, showers, thunderstorms. Wednesday, maybe a break. That happens. It's not continuous rain, but it's basically showers every few days. You know, you get a little break and then Thursday, the rain turns back on. Friday, a little break and then Saturday, the rain turns back on. Uh, that is your atypical forecast. When we're talking about that Mayu Bayu front or the quote unquote rainy season front. Mayu Bayu is the names from uh, uh, Chinese to Korean to Japanese, also known as the Suyu front. There's many names for it. It just happens this time of year gradually works towards the north as we will head through the month of june into july eventually off towards korea and eventually by late july we're talking about northern china basically it starts to to fade away but really sets up i mean look at this may 10th that's where on average it is and look exactly where it is right now stretching across this same area so uh climatology always a big help when we're talking about these extended forecasts that's why i showed you that climatology forecast as well or at least i shouldn't say forecast that climatology graphic for the philippine tropical systems there hey thank you very much for has been helping me out on patreon i truly truly patriot appreciate it 
You notice I got a little bit of a wider view here. Graphics are slowly getting changed around. I got a new studio as well. And a lot of that is thanks to you guys helping on Patreon. So thank you very much. This is our next big setup. I've been showing this in a lot of my updates, but boy, I am excited. We got some nice new graphics coming in the forecast here. So whew, like how I tied that new graphics in the forecast. Yeah, that's what I got. All right, so check out that Patreon. Please subscribe to this channel if you enjoy these updates. If you're uh, stopping by, checking out what's going on, and you aren't subscribed, I highly recommend it. Because today, you know, nothing urgent, but you want to get those notifications if we're talking about, you know, major storms developing. Uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, I even post sometimes on TikTok. All right, as always, thanks for watching, and stay safe out there.